tonight we are going to do this experiment live. So hopefully uh, everything works out for us. I have a second camera here that I'm going to turn on. Uh, and that's what we're going to use to see what is happening. And I'll make it full screen. There we go. And so let's try today's experiment. Today's experiment is definitely one where we're good. You're going to need, um, you know, adult supervision, supervision from a guardian. So maybe your teacher will do it with you in the classroom. Maybe you will do it at home uh, with your parents or an older brother or sister, uh, whoever can help you out at home. So for today's experiment, we need a clear dish. You could use something like a shallow plate. Uh, you could use something bigger. I kind of have something in between. I've got this um, pie dish here that's nice and clear and I filled it with water, not too much water. Uh, really how much you put in is gonna depend on what we add next. So what we're gonna add to this is just a candle. So in my case, I've got a little tea light. Uh, you might have a bigger candle, something that stands a little bit taller uh, that you can use in your dish. So I'm gonna add that in there. You just wanna make sure the water's not so high that it is going to uh, put your candle out after we light our candle. So we're gonna put some food coloring into the water so that we can see our water a little bit easier. I think maybe I'll use green today. And we will add that in. A few drops, let's get it nice and dark. There we go. Swirl that around a little bit. All right, I think I might actually want that just a little bit darker so we can see. Got a nice white desk here, so that's gonna help it stand out here for us. Okay, so now that that's mixed in a little bit, we get to the part where we may need a little bit of help if we're doing it in the classroom or we're doing it at home, and that is we're gonna light this candle. There we go. Perfect, okay. So uh, there we go, we have our candle, it is lit. Uh, back up a little bit for focus, there we go. So let that burn for maybe 30 seconds or so. It doesn't have to be too long. And then what we're gonna do is take a glass jar and we are gonna cover the candle with the glass jar. So the glass jar goes in. And then we're just gonna, I'm gonna try and get down here a little bit and we're gonna see what happens. So you should be able to see something happening. You see our candle went out, you see it started to float, and you can see that the water level has risen by at least an inch, maybe even an inch and a half inside of this jar. So there we go, it worked out nice for us live. Your task this week is to try this at home, try this in the classroom. Again, a reminder that it does use something like a match or a barbecue lighter. Uh, so you do want to have someone help you out with that. And then try this out, take some pictures and send us your results. You want to send those to classroom at darwin200.com. So classroom at darwin200.com. We will pick three entries and they will win a gift card. And we'll announce that in two weeks time. So we give classrooms two weeks to try the experiment, to uh, send us some results, uh, and then we'll pick those three classrooms. So there you go. That is our experiment. Bonus points this week if you can tell us why this happened. Why did the water level change inside the jar? 